We going? All right. My name is Josh, and I'm here with my friend. What's your friend? What's your name? Name's John. What's that? John. 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 I'm here with John, and we're at the start of the free fair zone, and we're gonna be taking a ride on the bus here in a minute. And John rides the bus quite frequently. He's gonna tell Every us a little day. bit about it. Every, Every day. Every day, sir. Every day. Where do you? So do you work around here? Yes, I do. Where do you work at? I work out on North Temple. On North Temple, great. So, what do you like? What is? What do you like about the bus? Why do you ride it? Because it's cheap. It's cheap. That's a good. Is there anything else? What What kind of suggestions would you like to make to UTA to make it a, a better bus experience? I like for them you? to be on time. On time? I agree with you there. Because <laughs> I think they're always slow. Always <laughs> slow. <laughs> the, the the new thing that they're coming out with. Light rail. What do you think about the light rail? Who can ride it? Who can ride it? Well, people down south people can ride it, I guess. Sandy. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah. The yups. So it really doesn't make any difference to you. Well, it doesn't to me. Yeah. All I right. mean, their uh, their relations with you. How do you think they could, you know, more accommodate the your needs? Well, they, uh, the UTA has. I don't know that much about the Mass Metropolitan Transportation System, but it seems to me they're doing a fairly good job. Uh, like I say, there could be, sometimes the buses could be cleaner. The bus stops sure could, could sure be cleaner because a lot of them are filthy. Service is sometimes a little bit ragged, but I guess it's pretty hard to maintain a schedule. How do you feel about this whole light rail thing with all the construction? Has that been kind of a nag? Not, uh, it hasn't been a bit of a problem with me, but uh, I suppose with the merchants it has been. Uh, I don't know how much it's good it's going to do for Salt Lake City because people like their cars here. <laughs> Do you think that it's had kind of a negative impact on their image, or do you think they, they still looked on as a pretty good Each service? Image, the rapid yeah. transit, I don't think it's had any impact whatsoever, except people are wondering when it's going to be ready. We're here, we're here with Doreen Hanks, and she has a couple suggestions for UTA on how they can improve their service. Go ahead. More buses and more times. Get them here faster and get them more buses. you gotta, you got to do it, because until that 2002 gets here, you're out of luck. Yeah, I've been riding them for 60 years. Really, how have you noticed? Has their service changed, gotten a lot better? No. I'm here with Kevin and Eileen and Avid UTA riders. And I just wanted to ask you, uh, what, what about the UTA do you like? Oh. You don't need the 23, do you? No. The uh, 35 cents disabled fare. 35 cent disabled fare, and how about you, Eileen? That's what I like, too. You like that, too? She likes the 35 cent disabled fare as well. Time to go on in. Oh. Well, here we are, actually on the bus. It's kind of exciting, really. But, uh, what bus are we on? I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what bus we're on. We're just riding here. We're on, we're on a UTA bus, and uh, we're cruising up on uh, State Street here. All right, how about face over this way? So uh, here we are today with, uh, what's your name? Joe Ray Bouvier. Joe Ray Bouvier. And uh, how often do you ride the bus there, Joe Ray? Quite often. Uh, six, seven days a week. Six, seven days a week, and six, five or six. They don't run on Sunday. That's right, they don't run on Sunday. So, well, what is your experience? How do you feel about riding the bus? Is it a good experience? Or? I like it, yeah. It's uh, economical, plus it's uh, convenient. You don't have to look for a parking spot or stop at a Chevron station to pump 50 bucks in the gas tank. You know. That's a good point. It sounds good. Well, how, how have you seen UTA try to accommodate the needs of their passengers? They're very concerned with uh, making sure that passengers are picked up on time. Uh, that means is that we don't go by our stops early. Uh, we will go by late occasionally when traffic is heavy or when we have a heavy load of people, but we don't go early, and that's very helpful to our passengers, I think. That's great. Having a video for the University of Utah, everybody wave. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Great, thanks a lot. <laughs> 